What's up, everyone? My name is Mr. Gabe. And I'm Mr. Andrew. And this is an, an epic, epic story. Today's story comes from the New Testament, so we only need to rewind a little bit. Oh, I was born ready. They have a remote for everything nowadays. Here we go. What's up, everybody? My name's Mr. Gabe. And I'm Mr. Andrew. Wait, wait a minute. We just did An this. epic story. Gabe, come on. I sound ridiculous when I shout it out by myself. Andrew, we just did this like 30 seconds ago. <sighs> we didn't rewind far enough. Okay, I got this. I got this. Slightly taller than me. Oh, and what is this? Underwater? A fish? A salmon? Oh, no! Wow. <laughs> yeah, that camera really does add 10 pounds. Uh, and, and I miss my long hair. I think I'm going to grow it back again. Please don't. Let's try again, though. All right, all right. Oh, gross. What is that smell? Are, are we in a barn? Gabriel, this is not just a barn. This is... There's a chicken! Come here, chicken! I'm going to catch you and you will be mine! You will be mine! <laughs> Gabe, meet Henrietta. She is a real-life comedian. Uh, Andrew. 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 <laughs> Henrietta! Gabriel, I don't think you understand what you just did. Now I'm going to have to go chase her down and catch her all over again. <laughs> Andrew, focus. Can we please get back to the story? Just take us to the right time, please. All right, fine, but you ruin all the fun. Andrew, wait, is that... <sighs> Finally, we're only about three minutes into our epic story and we're just now starting. Well, technically, Gabriel, we rewound for two minutes, then we fast forward for another minute and a half. Divide by the square root of 72, then add the three, see the pig, carry the nine. You will see that we have arrived right on schedule. You are welcome. Okay, anyways, our story starts with the disciples and Jesus traveling and teaching people about God. Jesus was really famous and he tended to draw a crowd. Oh, really? <laughs> well, let's see here. Hey, stop it. I'm not done yet. And finished. Andrew, that is a perfect drawing of a family of carrots bathing in the sun. This is not carrots bathing in the sun. I drew a crowd of people, just like you said. Oh, yeah, now I see it. <laughs> I'm going to go put this on the fridge. So a crowd started to gather, so Jesus told the disciples to get a boat ready so they could cross to the other side of the lake. Ready to make sails! Hoist the anchor! Swallow the deck! Gabriel! <laughs> You can really use a peg leg. Captain's coming! Nice, Gabe, that's the spirit. Here's the thing, we're off to find buried treasure. There could be gold, or nerf guns, or swords, or a tank. Actually, that would be a really big box. I don't think we could get it on this boat. We might have to leave it, or it could be candy. What if there's candy in there? Andrew, this isn't a pirate ship, this is a regular boat. Oh man. Sorry! So Jesus and his disciples got into the boat and pushed offshore. They weren't far from shore when all of a sudden a crazy storm hit. The wind began to pick up and grew stronger and stronger. And then there was a bright flash of lightning and a terrible crash of thunder. Ah! The waves began to tower over the boat and water came crashing in. Not today! I have so much to offer this world! The disciples started to freak out. Nothing they were doing was working. They were terrified. <sighs> ah! There's too much water! Every pirate for themselves! While the disciples were freaking out, Jesus was asleep in the bottom of the boat. The Bible even says he had a pillow. Nope. Can you please go back to being scared so I can keep telling the story? Oh, right. Ah! We're all gonna drown! I don't want to get eaten by a whale. I may be small, but I'm not a sardine. But you do smell like one. The disciples decided to wake Jesus up. Wake up! We're all gonna drown! 
But Jesus wasn't scared like the disciples. In fact, he was frustrated at them. Oh man, <laughs> I get that. I get pretty grumpy too when my mom actually wakes me up. I take my sleep very seriously. Gotta get a minimum of 12 hours. Beauty sleep, Gabe, beauty sleep. Okay, so Jesus wakes up and he rebukes his disciples. Ew, that's gross. Why did he do that? He, he rebuked them. I, I That's what I thought you said. Disgusting. Andrew, what are you talking about? <laughs> it must have been one of those crazy waves. I mean, I would have gotten a little barfy too. Oh, wait, Andrew, that's not what I said. I said he rebuked them. That means he got on to them. Uh, when I barf, a little gets on me too. No, just let me try again. When Jesus woke up, he was frustrated with his disciples for being so scared. He asked them why they were acting like that and why they had no peace. Oh, <laughs> why didn't you say that in the first place? You're right. What was I thinking? So Jesus turned away from the disciples to face the storm. He commanded, be silent. <laughs> Boom, roasted. I couldn't resist. I'm so sorry, Gabe. Okay, here you go. I got you. Uh, I got you. Gotcha? Mom! Um... <laughs> oh, I can speak- Oh! oh. <laughs> okay, so Jesus said to be silent and, uh, and to, uh, and to be a mime, and to be a mime. A dancer. Yeah, a mime again. A choir director! Sweet! Oh, oh, the guy with the orange traffic cones who reels in the planes. I got- it. Oh, be still! Jesus told the waves to be still. <laughs> oh, Gabe. <laughs> Gabriel Sebastian Mills, hold this. You're terrible at telling stories. The disciples were amazed. They asked, who is this man that even the wind and the waves obey him? Jesus had peace in the storm because he knew God had a good plan for him. And the disciples should have had peace because Jesus was with them. You know, we can have peace too, no matter what situation we're actually facing, because God promises to never leave or forsake us. Wow, I did a great job. And that's an epic story. Yeah, it still sounds really weird by myself. Wait, I can talk. This is amazing, I can talk. Andrew, you got the story right, although you had a couple issues there in the beginning. You know, we really can have peace no matter what situation we're Peace and quiet. I mean, I love the guy, but when he starts talking, he just keeps going and going and going and going and going. You don't know what he's talking about because he goes on these random side tangents. Oh, that reminds me. Have I ever told you the time I went to Canada? They're bacon. Let me tell you, it's not real bacon. What a lie. It's just basically ham, whatever animal that comes from. And let me tell you, it was the most disappointing birthday cake I ever had. <laughs> Q Bumper! What's up everyone, my name is Mr. Game. And I'm Mr. Andrew. And this is an, an epic story. story. Not again. Wait, we just did this. An epic story! Gabe, come on, I sound ridiculous when I shout it out myself. Andrew, we just did this like 30 seconds ago. We, we didn't rewind. <laughs> We didn't. It's crazy. <laughs> Let me just volume up. <laughs>